What's up, guys? We're taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. If you apply to Prize Picks, but also sports books and other player prop sites out there, we're gonna dive into today's slate, and I have a good feeling about these two. We are currently on a four and two run, but unfortunately, we're not able to cash out yesterday because DeAndre Ayton decided to sell his rebounds somehow. Even with the game going to overtime, if he would have just got four rebounds in the second half, he would have gone over, but he just decided not to. But anyways, it is a brand new day, still on a four and two run. Let's dive into the slate real quick. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop straight in. Not too much to talk about. We only have four games today with Miami Heat game starting real soon. No plays for this game, by the way. I have all the plays for the 6 p.m. game today. But one more thing, if you are not on prize picks, Make sure you guys check it out. The link is down in my description below. Joe Burrow is currently on the board at a free square at half a passing yard. So if you aren't interested in joining prize picks, now is a really good time because if you do it before 6.30, Joe Burrow is at half a passing yard, a $25 max, but still a pretty good deal, it seems like, right there for Joe Burrow being at half a passing yard. So again, link is down in my description below. Using code DOMG gets you a 100% deposit match up to $100. And if you are interested in joining my Patreon, we can see everything that I'm playing tonight. The link is down in my description below. Here's the full breakdown of that. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays check out the patreon the link is down in the description below there are three different tiers there's nfl nba and all sports with access to the patreon you guys get every single play that i play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that i post once again the link is down in the description below so check it out all right now let's hop in let's start out let's start with the my least favorite of the two here let's go with the points plus assist category here so i'm gonna go to points plus assist and i'm gonna scroll down just a little bit to the 6 p.m game here and we're going with tj mcconnell over 23.5 points plus assists. So let's start off here by taking a look at the odds in case you are in sports book. This can also help you out if you are on prize picks. So TJ here, let's take a look at where he is at. So he's actually at 22 and a half on FanDuel at minus 122. Otherwise, he's at minus 125 on um, MGM and DK. But it looks like the best price by far is going to be at minus 122 to go over 22.5 on FanDuel. Really surprised to have him down there, but uh, otherwise he's favored over everywhere else. So it seems to be pretty good value right there for TJ on FanDuel. But I like him over 23.5 over on uh, press picks here. So let's dive in and take a look at why I like this prop. He's on the road going to Memphis in this game. Potentially no Desmond Bain, no Steven Adams for Memphis. However, Tyrese Halliburton is still out and uh, it's a nine point spread, 241 over under. So hopefully this game does not blow out. And the over under though looks very, very good at 241. So if, if this game doesn't blow out, TJ McConnell should see his minutes. And if he has his minutes, he is, he is just going off, man. So in the last four games, he's had 32 plus minutes. And if you take a look at how he's really been this, this season with 25 plus minutes, when he has 25 plus minutes, he's over in six out of eight games, six out of eight. And he's had 32 plus in his last four games. When he has 30 plus minutes, he's over in all six games this season with at least 25. So he had 33 minutes against the Magic, had 25 points plus assists in that one with eight assists and 17 points. Let's also take a look into this matchup a little bit. So again, hopefully this game does not blow out, but I think if this game blows out, he should still be seeing quite a few minutes. I think that Milwaukee game kind of blew out and they still kept him in the game just a little bit, but... Anyways, let's see how the point guard matches up against the uh, Memphis this season. So Memphis is really, really good uh, this season against the point guard. They're on 22.41, the third least amount of points per game. If you take a look at the assist, they're still pretty solid against the assist right there. But if you take a look at the last seven games and how they've been, you take a look at the points real quick here. Memphis is actually allowing the, I believe, the seventh most points per game in the last seven games to the point guard. And they're allowing the third most assists per game at 10.10 assists per game allowed to the point guard. So it seems to be a pretty good matchup, especially in the last seven games. Not as so much season long, but also, again, like when he sees his minutes, he's been going over this pretty uh, steadily. His minutes have been pretty consistent without Halliburton, especially the last four games. And he's just been constantly going over this, man. So I love TJ McConnell because if he gets his minutes... He should be able to go over this prop. At least that's how the trend has been for McConnell this season. So let's go ahead though and dive into player prop number two. Pretty simple breakdown right there. If his minutes are there, I think I feel pretty damn good about this. But and I think he should get his minutes. I'd be very surprised if he did not have like 30 plus minutes in this game. Unless his game like is a complete blowout and he get, he doesn't even touch the court in the fourth. Uh, you should be able to go over that prop. Anyways, let's dive in though to player prop number two. And it's gonna be my favorite of the two, not by too too much, but I like Jaron Jackson Jr. over 17.5 points. And I personally paired this with teaching McConnell for a couple different reasons. So this is the same exact game. So if this game does not blow out, that means Jaron Jackson Jr. should get all of his minutes. That means Mick Connell should get all of his minutes. And with the 241 over under, this looks really, really good to me. So either, I think I, I'd feel a lot better about this if this game does not blow out, of course, because then those guys get their full minutes and they're in a pair for me over on prize pick. So they're in a pair. I like the spot right there. But Jaron Jackson, he's at 17.5 points here, averaging 14 in his last five games. However, 
The reason this number is so high is because there is no Steven Adams in this game. Steven Adams will be out in this game, also potentially no Desmond Bain. That's two huge reasons to why he is this high up there. So he's going to be playing with Brandon Clark and uh, Zyra Williams, it looks like, assuming Desmond Bain is out. I believe he's actually listed doubtful right here uh, or unlikely to play. But uh, again, it's a, nine, it's a nine point spread, 241 over under real quick here. So even if this game does blow out, though, I still feel pretty good about Jaron Jackson. Not that I think the game will blow out, but let's take a look at how the power forward matches up the season against the Pacers. So if you take a look at how the Pacers are against the power forward this season, they're kind of right in the middle of the pack, allowing 22.11 points per game to the power forward. And if you take a look at the last seven games real quick, the Pacers are actually allowing the second most points per game to the power forward. They're on 28.35 points per game in the last seven to the power forward. So it seems to be a really, really good matchup for the power forward. You take Steven Adams off the court you take potentially no Desmond Bain here in this game and take a look at how also Steven Adams has been this season or how Jaron Jackson has been this season uh he's actually been over this in half of the games so he's had 22 19 19 17 and 14 to a lot of these games too uh, at least these three have been really really bad shooting he actually went over with shooting seven for 18 four for 11 and five for 17 those games he just shot really really bad he's still hooked against Golden State and that M Minnesota game was in a tougher matchup against Rudy Gobert he's not facing a guy like Rudy Gobert on the Pacers so Five, 5 for 17, 4 for 11. He just really didn't have the attempts there. He also shot bad and still fell on the hook. So I like the spot here for Jaron Jackson to go over his points against the uh, Pacers today. So again, I like that correlation right there because if this game does not blow out, they're getting full minutes. And also the over-under looks really, really good. So if the game goes over the point total or this game does not blow out, I love the correlation between the two. So Jaron Jackson, I forgot to look, take a look at the odds, by the way, for his points. So let's take a look at that real quick. So if we take a look at his points... And where's Jaron Jackson here? Is it 18.5 on FanDuel? 18.5 even on a points bet. That's interesting. He's at minus 115 over and under. Minus one, uh, minus 130 on, it looks like, MGM and DK. So they're both favored over uh, pretty heavily right there. So Jaron Jackson Jr. gives you the best uh, edge, it looks like, compared to TJ McConnell when it comes to the books, comparing that to prize picks. But uh, those are my two pairs. I like TJ McConnell over 23.5 points plus assist and Jaron Jackson Jr. over 17.5 points. Make sure you tail turn risk and always look into these props a little bit more on your own. Hopefully cash out today and uh, yeah, hopefully there's not like an Aiton seller today because Aiton really pissed me off yesterday. He was my favorite of the day and just decided not rebound really at all in the second half. He had one rebound in the second half overtime. He had, he had two rebounds. So I don't know what's going on with him yesterday, man. Kind of pissed me off just a little bit, but hopefully we catch out today. Tilt and risk. All the links are down in my description below. The Patreon link, the prize picks link. If you are not already on prize picks, at least check it out. 18 years and older available in most states, but that's going to do it. Best of luck tonight and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, boys. Thank you guys for watching. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below, so check it out. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon.